What is up, guys? I am the High Tech Redneck, and I am back with you now to talk about the construction and quality of these Donner pedals here before me. <clears throat> so I have checked all of these as I received them and found various details that I have not seen reported elsewhere on YouTube. You guys may be interested to hear some of the things I've found. So uh, first of all, I have another video about the sound of these pedals. And if you'd like to see that, you can go check that out. I will also be doing a review of, of these individually, most likely at some point. So stick around, check back with the channel for that in time, all in due time, my dears. But for now, <clears throat> let's stick with the construction and quality. So first of all, let's go to the power jacks. Now on your standard pedal, like these mini pedals, I can uh, grab this thing and pick it up by the jack and it stays on. See the light's still on. Notice the jack is pulled back a bit and it can go all the way in and pull back a fair ways. And I can also jiggle the crap out of it and mess with it while it's on. No issues whatsoever until I forcefully pull this out and then eventually it will die. But that happens with any pedal. That's what I expect to see from a power jack. <clears throat> Now, when I received the Wave Delay, which I'm very happy with, by the way, I love the sound of this pedal, I was a bit disappointed by this power jack. Now, as you see, the jack is on. I'm going to push it in fully all the way to make sure it's seated well. And now we're going to jiggle this wire. Let's say we're in the middle of a show and, you know, we move the pedal board and something happens. We squeeze the pedals closer together and this wild wire jiggles. And now the pedal's dead. You can see it does not take a lot of jiggling for this thing to die. Now, if you look at the top of this, you'll see that even a slight jiggling causes the jack to back out. <clears throat> it causes the plug to back out of the jack a bit. And whenever this happens, it starts to short out very quickly. It doesn't pull out very far at all before this pedal starts to lose power. That is not a good thing in my opinion. <clears throat> now, I got in touch with Donner and I told them about this problem and they told me they've already found the problem and fixed it. And then they sent me this nano tube drive to review and to compare with this one. And to be fair, there is some improvement here. The jacks look identical to the naked eye, but it does function more properly. So, see I turn this on, it can withstand a little jiggling and a little beating around on the pedal board without dying. That is a very big plus. Now on the downside, I pick this up and I jiggle the wire a little and this falls out easily. This pedal is lighter yet it falls out of the uh, the plug slips out of it with the weight of it hanging on here whenever this larger heavier pedal does not. So this jack is still a little bit loose. It's not the ultimate fix. Also, it does not withdraw very far. It can come out one click right here, one little click, and then it holds in place, but then it loses power as you pull it farther out. But it can come out a little ways without dying. And uh, it, it is better, and on the pedal board, it does perform much better in practice whenever you are actually moving and adjusting your pedals and adjusting your wiring. I don't have to worry about this so much, but this guy over here is already, well, no, it's not already dead, but it's already, yeah, it's pretty much on the brink of it. It's already basically shorted out. I need to replug that wire. So you can avoid this problem. If you want to avoid uh, having this problem, if you want a nano pedal from Donner, order directly from Donner and get their new stock where they have fixed the problem in the jacks. Don't go order from a secondhand store like some guitar store on eBay that bought the pedals from Donner themselves and now they've been holding them for six months trying to sell them because you're going to get the old ones with this jack. That's how I ended up with this pedal. But this one came directly from Donner. It does have an improved jack. It does work much better. So that is a problem but it's also fixed and to be perfectly fair when I play with this pedal even though it has this problem I have zero issues with it while I'm playing the only time I have an issue is if I say move my pedals all around and I try to squeeze them all back together and then I'm readjusting my power wires and trying to get this all pretty and neat and like I do this and the next thing I know the pedals messed up and I have to click it back together and uh, and then it works but 
you know, like I said, I can work with it, but that's not ideal. That's not what I want to see out of the box from a pedal. But thankfully, Donner's quality control team has found that problem and fixed it before I became aware of the problem. I just happened to get an older pedal that had not, you know, that had been had not been fixed yet. So, <clears throat> yeah, the power jacks only an issue on the nano pedals. If you get the mini pedals, they have great power jacks. But uh, yeah, beware of that. Order them directly from Donner to avoid that. Next up, I want to talk about the uh, the general construction. Everything on these was almost perfectly put together. I checked all of the connections here on these jacks all the way around. Everything was snug except this nut on the tube driver was a little bit loose. And still is a little bit loose, but I'm not going to strain on it. But this thing slipped a little bit and I snugged it up by hand. I need to snug it up properly. So whenever you get these, check the connections and make sure that they are solid so this doesn't come undone in the middle of a show or something. But for $30, I mean, you got a great pedal and you saved maybe anything from $70 to $200 on a pedal to get a great tone. So it's worth your effort to tighten that little nut up. That's not a big deal. Um... Another thing that's kind of quirky that I did not expect from these pedals is a slight issue in the mini pedals with the jacks, the quarter inch jacks here. If you notice, if I wiggle this uh, jack, the uh, if I wiggle this plug, it slips backward in the jack and creates a gap right here. Now that is not a big deal. It has exactly zero effects on the playability. And it, it reacts differently with different types of chords. For instance, this is a switchcraft end on this one. And when I wiggle this, it creates a very small gap that can be pushed back together, but not much. This is made by Hosa or whatever, H-O-S-A is the company that makes these little daisy chain connectors. And it slips back what looks like a significant degree but it's really not whether it's this way or whether it's pushed in fully it plays and sounds exactly the same it does not have any negative effect on the nano pedals you can twist these and they do not slip backwards at all they fit securely and they feel normal but on the mini pedals the same thing happens over here on this guy if i can reach around here i jiggle this and it creates a gap that can be pushed back in but once again, no negative effect on the sound. That's just a, a quirk is what I call it. It's just one of the ways that Donner pedals are kind of quirky. <clears throat> but uh, once again, not a problem. And if I plug in a different brand of daisy chain cable, like one of these here, this one does slip backwards, but not as far as this other brand of cables does. So different cables react differently with these jacks. But once again, it works perfectly. It's just a weird little quirk. So... Yeah, you can expect to see that. Um, as far as the sound is concerned on these pedals, I have another video on that, but I like the sound of them. All of the non-drive pedals here, these three are great. I give them like A plus for sound. And then this guy, I give it a B because it's just a little bit dark in the voicing. But uh, if you want to see a demo of that, check out my sound demo video. I just wanted to make this to show you the general hardware. Oh, one last thing. The uh, the potentiometer on this compressor is a little bit rough from about right here at the 930 position all the way down to the bottom of the sweep. It just feels, uh, it feels a little bit hard to turn, a little bit stiff until it gets there. And then from here through the rest of the sweep, it feels very loose and easy. Takes gentle pressure. And then right here, it suddenly takes significantly more. So yeah, that's a thing. Another strange thing, um, it seems like Donner puts different knobs on some of these. I have two knobs on the, the, these tiny knobs that have a clear marking on the top, and the third knob up here doesn't seem to have the same type of marking. And I seem to have the same thing going on over here. These two knobs have markings on top, and this one does not have the right marking on top. Donner, why you do this? This messes with my OCD. Like, it, it does nothing... To mess up the functionality, the pedal works fine, but ugh, like sometimes I stare at that and it just makes me want to get out like some, some liquid paper and put a line there or something. But I don't know. But uh, but yeah, it doesn't hurt anything. That's just a strange little thing. They include one like different kind of, of, of knob on some of these pots. 
but all these other pots all the way around these are all smooth they work perfectly just this one is a little bit stiff once again zero effect on the playability this is perfectly fine as far as functionality it just feels a little bit different right there so you can expect that so yeah these things are a little bit quirky but considering the insane value the quality to price ratio that you have in these donner pedals i think you are definitely getting more than what you pay for and that is a good thing and yeah they are definitely worth your time to check out they are interesting to say the least and once again thank you donner for sending over the tube drive for me to review it is a cool little pedal i really greatly appreciate it and i hope you guys have found this interesting and useful and awesome i am the high-tech redneck later